This video is for all of you out there who have tried making a jackfruit recipe at home and been severely disappointed with the way it turned out. Hi, I'm Elise. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make vegan video recipes every single week, so don't forget to subscribe. Jackfruit's one of those kind of newer, trendier foods that lots of people have been talking about. When you buy jackfruit at the store, you're getting it in a can just like this. Pretty much all the time, it's packaged in either vinegar or lime juice. It'll taste really sour. Since jackfruit is mostly used in recipes as a pork substitute, this was always super confusing to me. Pork does not taste sour. Pork is incredibly savory and fatty tasting. I always had a problem with jackfruit recipes that I found online because it was just drain it from the can, dump a whole bottle of barbecue sauce on it. Now don't get me wrong, I don't expect jackfruit to ever taste exactly like pork, but I do think there are ways to make it taste more savory and less like you're eating a lime. I have come up with a method to get rid of that vinegary, sour, briny taste and basically make it a blank canvas for you to add whatever flavors you want. All right. Let's make some jackfruit. For this recipe, I used two cans of jackfruit. I bought them at Sprouts. So you're gonna open them, drain both of them in a strainer. You can see they're pretty tough and hard, not very soft at all. Now drain your liquid and just give it a quick little rinse. You don't have to be too thorough. This is a tip I learned from my boyfriend. If you ever have trouble stabilizing your cutting board, put a wet towel underneath and it will not budge. Now I'm just chopping off the tough bits on the bottom, breaking up the top part as much as I can. Now some people like to discard this part, the bottom part, because it's kind of tough and woody. I just mince mine up and add it to the mix because I don't really like to waste that much food but feel free to do whatever you want. Now I'm going to rinse it really thoroughly. I'm filling up the container with cold water, spending a lot of time trying to squeeze out as much of that brine as I can. Drain it and add it to a pot. Cook this in plain unsalted water. I boiled mine for about 10 minutes. Not only does this soften it up, but it also leaches out some of that brine that it was canned in. Rinse it again in cold water to stop the cooking. Dry it as well as you can. Sometimes I will use a mesh bag to squeeze out all the liquid, but not everyone has those, so you can just use clean towels. Now I made a marinade for my jackfruit. I will leave all the ingredients and the measurements in the description bar down below. Now I do add agave syrup here. This is kind of optional, but I find that sweetness really balances acidic flavors really well. I recommend it. It doesn't really make the jackfruit taste sweet or anything. It just balances the flavors. And I let mine sit in the fridge for about 40 minutes. You could do this overnight. I use cast iron. I just like the way it really browns stuff up. Cooking some diced onion and garlic in canola oil. Adding some salt to help it soften. Now I'm adding the jackfruit. And I let this cook for about 20 minutes. You want it to start to caramelize, but you don't want to cook it for too long. Otherwise it'll start to taste dry. I heated up some tortillas straight on the burner. That's why they're kind of charred, but it's just the easiest. And this is what the jackfruit looks like. I'm making street style tacos, so I kept the toppings pretty minimal with just onion, cilantro, and lime juice. But feel free to add whatever you want. You could do salsa or avocado. I love tacos. Those are like one of my favorite foods of all time. Try what I made. 
Posh Club. The only acidic notes that I'm getting are from the lime that I squeezed over the top. It's not coming from the jackfruit. It tastes meaty, it looks like meat. You can really add whatever flavorings you want. As you're cooking the jackfruit, make sure you taste it for seasoning. I should have. Definitely could have used more salt and more chili powder. The texture is like so perfect too. I'm sorry I look like garbage, but it is literally like so hot in here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you make this at home or if you have any tips for making jackfruit taste better. Please let me know. I'm gonna go finish these tacos. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye!